What is going on friends? We are back with more World Cup action. We got Porsche versus Solent for black and white. Porsche is 2 and 0 at the moment and I think Solent is... Is he 0 and 2? I think he's 0 and 2. But one game was a loss because of a disconnect. Solent playing for Team Spain and Porsche playing for Latin America. He brought an interesting team to say the least. Oh my god. Shancy plus Trevor. He has Zatu as his only form of like Berend Hazard from going up. Because it has like magic bounce. If he didn't have the chance at the end of the team is that dragon switching would be, would be the X button, but yeah he has a chance, so there's his high dragon switching. I can see Rockstrand, Trust Band, Terranitar, Scarflanders. High Dragon, I see a lot of specs. High Dragons. And among us I think they carry spore and sleep talk sometimes. Like they carry even sleep talk to absorb opposing spore. Or like if this is Specs High Dragon that might also have Sleep Talk. Like either one of the two might have Sleep Talk. Probably not both. I think it's gonna be Rock's chance because Duck Chiyo doesn't seem like a reliable style of Rock setter. So I can see Porsche just setting up the Rock's turn one. Sh shiny Chansey looking disgusting and fat. He goes into Zatu in case someone wanted to go for rocks because he basically can't afford to let Hazards go up on his side. And he's Rocky Helm. But now Tyranitar comes in or Hydreigon comes in, that's the question. I think <laughs> if Tyranitar comes in to pursue this, he would. Like, it's kind of tough for someone because if Tyranitar kills this, Tyranitar can get like trapped by Dougie. So I guess I could see him going into Heatran depending on the set, but Heatran... If Heatran doesn't have like Taunt or Magma Storm or anything to do touch the Chansey, it's gonna be really bad for Soulwind. He goes at Dragon. So if he has U-turn, I would th think he would click U-turn because the Chansey has to come out here. Like if Porsche stays in here and loses this, it's kinda bad for him. Because that's his only way of preventing Stealth Rock. He doubles into T-Town on the predicted Chansey. Oh, Ninetales comes out, wow. So does that mean that he's like bulky Ninetales? He does immediately switch up the weather. Yeah, I can see this having Will-O-Wisp. That was weird, like I thought it would go Chansey there. Like I know that Ninetales has decent Spadef naturally. Data. Nine tails. One hundred Spadef. But if it was backside dragon like this would have gone blown away. Like I can show you guys a calc. Versus nine tails. It's max HP it gets ogled by Draco, so Dark Pulse would also do like a fuckload. So he must have predicted so when to make some sort of double switch. I mean if so and fears a will always You can go to Heatran, but the thing is if Porsche predicts that and doubles into Duck Trio. But I don't think Porsche would ever double into Duck Trio here. Because someone might just stay in with the Tita and go for it. Stone Edge. Yeah, Stone Edge or Crunch. But I think Stone Edge pretty much hits everything. Like, Dougie resists Stone Edge, but Dougie doesn't resist Stone Edge, you feel me? 
he did just go a dragon which basically is uh, like it basically covers all the like it comes in basically for free is what I'm trying to say on nine tails because like what is Ninetales gonna do to this dude if so much stone edge did this would have been dead or crunch the thing is then he would have gone trapped by Dougie and he obviously wants to prevent that this is man I'm kind of confused by this game Nice black and white with the trappers going on, dude. Like, <laughs> like I would assume that he would go Chansey, but last time he went Nine Tails on this, so like, there was some next level prediction probably expecting Solon to make some sort of double. He definitely didn't expect the Tita last time when he went Nine Tails, because otherwise he would have gone into Dougie instead, I assume. I think he would go on a Chansey this time, right? There's the Chansey, there's the Draco, and that does absolutely nothing. I mean, it does a good chunk. You see, it's Life Orb, High Dragon, and it has Super Power, it's mixed, and it bounced off the Chansey. If he didn't Soft Bolt, this is gonna be bad, but he did Soft Bolt. And I don't think a Dragon gets taunt or anything like that. You can either Soft Bolt again, which is probably fine play. Oh, I can get up the rocks, but I assume he's just gonna softball. He did just seismic as well. So if this is a banter, it might get a kill here. Unless he goes hard into Dougie, gets brought onto the session, kills us with reversal. That wouldn't be good for Solven, and I'm pretty sure he wants to prevent that from happening. That the Dougie traps is Tarantar. I mean, this doesn't beat the chance, he's just gonna softball. He he just went for rocks, wow. I mean, that is fine as long as he doesn't get critted or flinched by Dark Pulse or something like that. I just thought he would play it safe and softball there though. But he's gonna attempt to softball now as long as there's no crit or flinch, he should be a fine, good to go. He did get the rocks up on Sowin's side. They basically hit everything for like 12%, 12.5% or ho however, like the, whatever the damage is for rocks. Besides Alakazam, that obviously has Magic Guard. Yeah, Mungus does have Regenerator. So it also is not affected that much by rocks but it's still great to get up by rocks obviously so Sovan is thinking here what he should do because this hydrogen just doesn't beat the chance he if it can't hex it then the duck chain in the back is just so annoying for Sovan like Because if he kills, like just some, not no matter which mon, if he kills one mon, but either Heatran or Tyranitar, afterwards he can get trapped by Dougie, which is like something I hate about Dougie. Like Arena Trap, remove switching from the game, kind of kind of annoying to play against. But also kind of hard to tell for me how effective it is in the black and white meta game, since I haven't played that much. And I, I mean, I kind of wanted to get into black and white so I can learn it myself if I want to play in Smoktrus next season, like Smoktrus 24. But if I if I see like this team, I don't want to get into black and white. If I see something like this, like <laughs> he did go tar double out. I think partial is. Always throwing this in just in case he has habits on this. And if he's if he kills the Zatu, he can just revenge it with Dougie, so I can understand that play. Psychic does five million to nine tails. We see the leftovers. So is that a life orb Elikazam? If he was max HP nine tails, maybe that was a life orb, but the nine tails could have also just been offensive. He does have taunt, wow. 
that is pretty nice. He did focus blast on the switch and he did hit and only 33 to Chansey. Nice chip damage, but the taunt helps out a lot here. Prevents the Chansey from healing. So Porsche's gonna have to switch up over Seismic Toss. Uh, he does have Moonlight with Chrysalia, um, probably, because Moonlight heals like 75 in the sun, right? Data Moonlight. Yes, that should be a case. He, just, he does just go Cress. I'm not sure if he can even fit, like, if he can even fit Shadow Ball or something on them to hit this Cress. He has taunt psychic and focus blast. Well, that heals less in sand and more in sun. That's pretty interesting how the weather war is like affecting Cresselia's health and like Solon is really adamant about like not like he just doesn't want his T to get trapped and he keeps making the double out into Zammer. If Shadow Ball kills, I think he can go for that. Because if Chelsea can come out, if Chelsea comes out, he can still taunt the turn after. He just goes for Shadow Ball. I can see Porsche trying to pivot as he does just do that. And he just psychic it again. Nice play. If Shadow Ball again, he would have been a lord. He would have looked like a overmaster lord. But I'm not sure what Porsche speed control is. I think that's offensive Victini because that psychic did a good amount. Uh, at first I was like I was thinking this is either scarf or trick room, but I have like I don't have the answer. I think it could be scarf from how much that did, because Max HP Victini should have taken a bit less, I assume, from Psychic. I mean that was definitely nice pivoting. I mean I assume he's scarf the way he just brought this in makes me think that he's faster like he brought this in confident like he pivoted this in the thing is if Sowen goes to Heatran he gets Utah on trapped so he doesn't want to do that so Sowen might just go in a Landorus Yeah, he just goes Landrus expecting a U-turn. He gets it correct. And I assume this is a Scarf Lander, right? So he just goes in the Nightlets to get some lefties, and I assume he's gonna. I think he's gonna go Cresselia, cause he. Or a Zatu, cause Zatu would help. Like Zato would cover the U-turn play and give the land with some chip damage with helmet. And it would also come in for free and earthquake. And I think he just brought this in to change the weather. And to get some leftovers. I don't think he brought this in to die exactly. Yeah, I was expecting either the Cress or the Zar to like some ground some levitating mon to come out there and he does get in the tar. Crunch kind of just destroys something here, but like I said, he would get trapped by Dougie afterwards. So he sacks off the Ninetales it seems, but never mind, someone decided I'm not sacking off my weather yet. Yeah, this is, this is interesting how like... Sowen is like obviously really interested in keeping his weather so that the Cresselia can't heal that much in the in the sun with moonlight and so that the Victini doesn't get um, 
It's fire moves boosted by the sun, stuff like that. He does predict the VT, he goes for Shadow Ball, expertly played, godly played. I mean, he just got the prediction correct. Like, you already know how this works. If he gets it wrong, people get mad. If he gets it correct, people are going to say he's the GOAT. I would say it kind of was a 50 50 if he, got, if he went uh, Victini or Chansey first. But even if he went Chansey first, he might have tried pivot after. So Sloven could have also predicted the pivot afterwards, not sure. Which would also have been a bit risky because this might have stayed in predicting him to break the pivot into Victini and go for soft boiled. <laughs> I think he's just gonna click taunt here, right? Or, I mean, if he goes, I can see him going into Zato to bounce the taunt back. But I don't think that get. Porsche that match like I don't think that gives Porsche that much if he goes Zato to the bounce back the taunt Because someone is probably gonna make a play that covers Porsche doubling back into Chansey so he doesn't get the free softball up He does just stay in And he goes for softball. How did he know that he wouldn't taunt there like expertly? And a cross on a focus blast it's a spit death drop, that sucks. He did psychic again. Expecting Porsche to not check sec the crest and Moonlight obviously brings him back to full. Yo, why can all of them smooth drop special defense? That is a good question, my man. Yeah, this is nothing new, but I'm really tired at the moment. But I'm trying to get you get you that young coverage. Does this carry Ice Beam? He did double in the Tita. And he gets it in on Chansey. I'm really wondering if... What the other moves on the Chansey... The last move on the Chansey would be. Is it Toxic? Is it T-Wave? Oh my lord. He just keeps throwing this in. Like I said earlier, if he sacks this deck, he traps this. And if he goes for rocks, he bounces them back. So this Zato's probably gonna have Roost. I think U turn Roost. But I don't know about the two other moves. It could also be like Heat Wave to like take advantage of the sun. I think Zato learns Heat Wave, not 100% sure. I just don't know what Zato runs in black and white. I really ha would have to like Google or something, and I'm not gonna do that when I'm tired. And uh, nah, I don't, also don't wanna miss any turns. But you can see that someone wants to keep his teacher really bad. He's like, never. Yeah, Nightshade. I was. I had Nightshade in the back of my mind. Like, I know I didn't say it. But like it's kind of Nightshade is kind of like seismic toss, and he has seismic toss on Chansey. Like it does like okay damage to like everything. Besides, um, I think it's a ghost move, so it doesn't hit normal types if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, it's a ghost move. My man Pavlov came online. Let me PM that boy and say, call me, my man. We can see someone just keeps doubling out. He doesn't want to lose his teeth at the doggy. But he only has one more rock switch in, so. His teeth is basically dead. I don't think anything has healing wish. Does Alakazam have healing wish? I don't think so. No, oh, I misspelled. Learn Alakazam. No, it can't learn healing in Gen 7 and it probably can't learn in Gen 5 then, yeah. Would Porsche sack this or is Porsche gonna try to pivot again? I mean, I can see him going Chansey again. Psychic, the crit probably, yeah, the crit mattered, I think. So Porsche went for a U turn or Roost, I assume.
And to Chansey we go. You can see the Zem just clicking um, Todd and the Chansey just clicking Seismic Toss. Let me that man paddle up though. Call my man. Okay, so he did sack off the nine tails, which means Solvent did win the weather war basically at this point. Like his Tita is still alive. Can come in on rocks one last time. And you guys gonna seismic toss I assume to pick off yeah now we can sack the Tita because he, because he gets rid of the he got rid of the sun already. I think that was his main goal. After Nantes dropped, he said, yeah, I'm sacking the teacher now. He does not get a spit death drop this time, but the thing is the Cressalia can't Moonblast in the sand, which is why the sand is really big, because in the sun he could have Moonlighted. Even though this could have predicted it in the sun and gone for Taunt. Now it beat it 1-1 one one really easy, so yeah, I don't think there's a need to add Padlop to the call. Was that a speed tie duck tree versus Alakazam or was it Scarf Duggy? It's not Scarf Duggy, so I think. He subs on the spore, my lord. And he has Screech. This kind of reminds me of the Z move set that is going around in Gen 7. But in Gen 5, there's obviously no Z move. So there was a speed tie between Duggy and Zam. I'm pretty sure that they both had max speed, right? Earthquake is not gonna kill because Duck Tree only has like base 80, I think, in Gen 5. I think this is gonna do like maybe 68, maybe 65. He does switch into Chansey. Well, that is a bit weird because he went for the Screech first, but now he just decides to switch healers up, obviously. But it's too risky to go back in the Duggy in a potential Giga Drain. Yeah, exactly. If he went in the Duggy in a Giga Drain, it would have been really bad for Partial. Because Duggy probably dies through that. I think it's Freddy's right Pith. It has already been 23 minutes. Wow. That time goes by fast when you're tired and like half asleep. Oh, I didn't add the music that Porsche wanted me to add yesterday to his video. I used it for the TDK game already, so I didn't want to use the music again. That Porsche gave me my bad. Should have saved it for Porsche's game. I wasn't sure if he was... I didn't know he was playing today until like a few hours ago. I thought... Yesterday I thought he was playing, um, like, not today, like the day after. But I'm pretty sure someone... Someone is in a better position, right? Like Amoongus has Regenerator. Like Chansey, he can solo, but if he Giga Drains once, it's over, yeah. Because now he only has Chansey left. Like, this game should be over. Like, the combination of all the mons that someone has left. And the Sandstorm hitting Chansey every turn is also pretty huge. Like, this has Regenerator, and like, now it's asleep. And I don't think the last move is gonna be Sleep Talk. He does stay in the Giga and well, I thought he would switch to Hydreigon and just superpower and to this to it Chaotus if it doesn't work out. That's weird. He did spore again in case they woke up and now he's just gonna spore again. This is gonna softball up, I assume. Oh, I think it, yeah, did he try to go Duggy on the Spore? Oh, High Dragon has Roost too, yeah, it's Life of High Dragon, it's not Specs. Yeah, so Solvent does it win this game, pretty sure, like, Porsche still tries with his chance here, but he can't win this. Uh, I do understand that he's playing it out though. He already said GG, I think I'm a few turns behind. Oh, the Landris did get sacked off. Did it die to rocks? 
He said he had it if he didn't crit Zato, but well played. Okay, wow. Did that really matter? But his superpower is gonna do 5 Pajil, and if he doesn't wake up, he is gonna get tweet killed. But his Hydra, he wakes up, goes for soft boiled. I mean, we know the game's already over, but I'm just re watching, like, I'm just watching the last turns because I'm, like, a bit behind. But yeah, the combination of Roost Hydra plus Amongus having regen. And yeah, the last move is Toxic. That's pretty standard set that I've, like, that people have used. I mean, I've also used it in Gen 6 um, when I use Stall. Thankfully, I don't use it that much anymore. Because it's kind of disgusting and I like... That... I don't mind watching Stall in, like, tournament games if it's not too often, but it has been so often in World Cup. You guys probably noticed, like... You guys have uh, followed World Cup quite a bit, right? If you watch, if you're watching this video, it's like there's a high chance that you are following World Cup. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. Huh? Like what I meant to say is, this is black and white. Not that many people watch black and white because there's like some people are like, I know there's like a lot of people. Yeah, so he quits the superpower, but it didn't matter. It was just a matter of time. Like this would have ran it off softball eventually, even if it stayed alive. So it does pick up the win as my man Padlop responded finally. I yeah, I will pick up the call. I just have to end the recording. I forgot what I wanted to say. I'm really tired and I can't concentrate. Yeah, basically I think more of my viewers are like newer battlers that started Gen 6 or Gen 7 or like Gen 6 battling like me. Like I did start competitive in XY or Auras around that. Late XY, early Auras, like around that time. But yeah, some people also have the black and white knowledge that I don't have, sadly. And yeah, if you're watching this again, partial... Um, yeah, if you want to record some black and white games with me, hit me up, because... Some some black and white games I can give a decent enough narration, but I don't think this was... I couldn't give the best narration in this one. Even though I kinda I kinda knew that Zatu runs Nightshade, I've seen that before, but I don't think I mentioned it. But I yeah, thank you guys for watching. I think Solent went to one and two, this was his third game for Spain. And Porsche went two and one, if I'm not mistaken, for Latin America. And I think they both have, still have a chance to make playoffs, but I'm not one hundred percent sure what the score is. And yeah, I'll see you guys later with more World Cup coverage. Thank you guys for watching it. Dokuch signing out. Goodbye.